we're, we're going to go and look at stone or make stone it's over there it's two and a half miles up the hill I'm not confident we'll find it to be honest I could be fine right. Rex, are you going to find it for us? Rex Rex, yeah you, Rex you're the only one here called Rex Find over 900 more bits of these sort of ancient stone art like a rock pieces. Art. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. There's a one of the biggest pieces of rock art is actually at the top of Shaharian. Seriously? Yeah. Is that one moon you have to climb? Yeah, you will. I think I'm busy. <laughs> I think Is it worth climbing a 3,000 foot mountain to get to the top of You and Rex, I think, would find it worthwhile, yeah. Rex, you going to climb Shahalian? Rex. Right now. Rex. 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 I don't think he wants to go. God. That's Carnassi Castle. Well, it was built for the Duke of Argyle, allegedly, in Unverted Commons, because he never stayed there. That was built for the Duke of Argyle. And it was the Bishop of Argyll who ended up living in it as a house, not a castle. Yeah, Joey's just pointed out looking a gap there. It's kind of flat and earthworks looking. You can see that the geology around here is quite, it's actually quite spectacular, really. Yeah. They are standing stones. No, it's, well, it's, it's a remnant. It's got to be a remnant. Standing. It's got to be the remnant of a shed or something. So yeah, that probably there's some standing stones. Well, in fact, we'll check out the camera and we go. Yeah. We'll put it right here. That's the way it is. This is the way you're a massive fan of the Campbell clan. Oh yeah, I love the Campbell me. Um, I have a bit of a poster girl in one of the Campbells. Huh? Marion Campbell. Huh? Um. She lived down at Kilberry, but she was one of the first people to properly um, document all the kists and stands and stones and burial cairns and stuff, the length of Kilmartin. I must have taken so long at a time. <laughs> she, um, she also funded, uh, well not part funded, and encouraged the formation of Kilmartin Museum and Auckland Drain. Yeah, well she did that as well. Yep. She was quite busy. She was. <laughs> she must have liked her rocks as well. We're going up to these stones, mm -hmm. but there's not that much known about them because they are sort of so so very old. Nothing's known of what their point was. Right. Uh, there was a guy, Ronald Morris, uh, wrote a book about the various reasons why the rock art would be there. Um, a, a hundred and four different things that it could be. 104 different 100. possibilities. Right. Yeah. So there's a little bit of indecisiveness then. <laughs> because a lot of it is cup and ring marks, um, it's thought it could be linked to fertility, and other folks think that it may be way markers or it may be something to do with worship. But the reality of it is, there are no written records of when the Pictish folk were roaming about this place. Oh, they are the written records, know. you just can't translate it. Yeah. There is also thoughts that maybe, yes, there are the carvings in the stone, but at one stage where they may be colourised or painted. Yeah. Um, so that they would stand out 
in the surrounding area. Yeah. At Axenbreck, they're massive, massive slabs, yeah. and they are flat, and there are a couple of ring marks on them. Can you see them from a distance though? I mean, I know they're big slabs, but I've not well, seen it myself, so. Not the way the path goes now, but I would imagine well, I suppose where that the path been, was 3,000 years ago. There's rocks over there, the path leading up to it. I've got a funny feeling that could be the rocks. Ow! <laughs> you pad down! Ow! I'm torn with it, you? Half wet. The dog is an idiot. That's the bit where Julie, who doesn't like heights, the bit is attached to a dog that likes jumping off stuff. It really is quite a nice walk. I mean, it's not even that nice a day, but it's still pleasant. These are the rocks we're looking for. A lot of carving on them. Rosettes, there's Lots of triangular chunks taken out and lots of cut marks. Uh, they all seem to point in the same direction. The hill just over there, and they all seem to line up with it. I'm sure Julie will have lots more information for us. Well, um, the cup and ring marks they presume are from Neolithic to Early Bronze Age. Mm -hmm. They're abstract, meaning we don't know the meaning. Right. There's a lot of rock art and it's abstract or it's figurative. Mm -hmm. Figurative would be stuff like the Eagle Stone, where you can clearly see an eagle. Yeah. Most of the stuff in Scotland is abstract mm -hmm. and we're talking about these sort of the cup marks and the, the rings around yeah. them and the rosettes which are really detailed up here but they don't know what they mean um, they have thought is it maybe indicating a woman's breast or is it a tree or is it anything round they're wondering is that what it could be so no one knows there's one, there's one stone down here with some writing on it Obviously, the writing doesn't date from 4,000 years ago when the, thing, the things were first made. It was when it was first found, I think, in the I think it was, uh, was it 18th, sorry, 19th century. Uh, I think there's probably also some modern graffiti on them as well, despite it being so remote out here. I have absolutely no idea why I'm doing what to. John Campbell. John Campbell. Uh, Campbell's, of course. Yeah, Campbell. 18. Oh, it's like 1811. Yeah. Yeah, so there was even graffiti back in 1811. Yeah, the Campbells seem to put their name on pretty much everything in this area. 
in south of Fort William really. Oh, is that another one? Did he just fall? <laughs> 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 Campbell as well. What? C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L. But I can't read. That looks like, that looks like Andrew. Yeah. Archie. Aye, right. Archie Campbell and John Campbell. The yep. Rex, get off the ancient monument. Rex! Taking to give you an idea where, where we are. I don't know where we are actually. We're on the west side of the Craig Dis no, we're on the Craig Dis Peninsula. I have no idea where we are. We're on a hill somewhere. That might be Crinan, maybe. Or right up here where it is. But there's like a wee marina harbour thing over there. You can you make What? Um, the rock art isn't at the top of Shahalian, it's the top of Ben Lors. I, I was just That's like, the fourth biggest mountain in Britain. Yeah, you and Rex will love it. Oh, Jesus, thanks. Um, it's also worth mentioning as well, obviously these are very clearly cup, cup, cup and ring marks. Um, but 10% of the monuments that are listed aren't probably cup and ring marks, they're just natural erosion. <laughs> that's definitely not natural erosion. No, that's no. John Campbell scr scrummed in the cotton stuff with yeah. rosettes beside it. Yeah. Well, that's the Ormig cup and ring mark rocks. Uh, pretty cool. Now just a two mile trek back. And it's just started raining. Brilliant! Julie's made me do this bit to camera because there's like a wee marina thing over there. I missed her map though. And I said that it's not hard film and she said it was. Just check the map and it's hard film. Get in my bag. It's my juice. It's my juice. Is that carrying that up there? No. Yeah, it hasn't just. Yeah, just slow it down in the middle of the, well, the back of that field there. It's what looks like in a big ruin of what was maybe a house or maybe in a sheepfold or something. Now, I know there is a place down here called Old Poltalic. Uh, we were at the later Paul Tallock house a few videos back. Uh, the old ones might be over here, the new ones a few miles down that way. Uh, I'm just wondering if that, what, that ruin, if that is the old Paul Tallock. But we'll find out when we get home. And then I'll put a wee bit of text up here telling you what it is. Uh, anyway, that was Ornig. I had to turn the camera off because it started raining. And it's now starting to get dark. So we're on my way back to the car. Aren't we, Joy? Rex wants to play. Really? Seriously? Thank you.